Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I want to challenge a concept, a motto, a phrase, an idea that is very common in our culture. And it shows up in many different ways. It has many different forms, but it always fundamentally boils down to the same thing, the same idea. You can do it. Now, sometimes there's get, there are things that are get appended onto that. You can do it alone. You can do it, um, you know, through Christ who strengthens you. Like there's different ways that it's showed up. Uh, but similar to the sermon that our uh, head pastor gave um, this last weekend on how uh, that verse is not about achievement, but contentment. About how that verse is not about we're going to do everything, but that in every circumstance we can be okay. We can be resting in the sufficiency of Christ. The world has a million different ways that they try to subvert that by making you the source, by making you the one that has to get the stuff done. You have to pray more. You have to lose weight. You have to eat right. You have to know these things. You have to hold these beliefs. You have to, you, you, you. You can do it. You should be doing it. And if you aren't doing it, what's wrong with you? Within Christianity, one of the fundamental ideas is that we can't do it. We are dead in our trespasses and sins. We are screwed. We are stuck. We are trapped in a state that we can't do anything about. This is a very difficult thing for a lot of folks to swallow. And that is why the response to the gospel is so often one fueled by pride. Well, I don't need Christ. I haven't sinned. I don't have these problems. I can fix this. It's about me, me, me. I can be the little God that rules over my destiny, my fate. I can be the one that if I understand who I need to vote for, if I can figure out uh, what I need to say, the, the spell that I need to cast on other people, then I can get exactly what I want. But it's not about us. It never has been, and it never will be. This isn't our story that's being told. And when we make it about us, we run into the storyteller the one who is guiding and directing the story. And he's going to let us act out our role. He's going to let us do what we think we want to do. But he's going to tell us why we're wrong. He's going to tell us we can't do it on our own. He's going to tell us to come to him, to come to the Father through the Son, to rest in the power of the Spirit. That's how the story continues. It's not by us taking the limelight. It's not by us drawing attention to ourselves or becoming the hero of the story. The hero has already been determined. And it wasn't you and it wasn't me. The hero was Jesus Christ. He is the hero of this story. He is the one who sacrificed, who gave it all, who conquered sin and mastered it. He is the one who sits at the throne and will judge all in the day, days to come. He already has done what people are now trying to do. He has already done it. It's not about us. It's not about us reproducing what he already did. But that's the temptation. That's the trick. That's the deception. That's the derailing. It's got to be you who one-ups Jesus. You've got to be more loving. You've got to be more tolerant. You've got to be able to save more people. But that's, but you can't do that. You can't do it. And the truth setting us free is as much about releasing us from that burden, from holding ourselves to do something that is impossible and being crushed by that impossibility. When we are no longer the one that is trying to fix everything, 
when we are no longer the one that is the hero of the story that everybody is looking to, to come through in the, the desperate hour, when we are no longer the one that's on the hook to be responsible for what's going on in our lives and the lives of the people around us, we are free. We are free. We are free. We are no longer chained to destruction. We are no longer chained to sin where we are trying to satisfy ourselves or others. We are now able to re-enter relationship with God, to have fellowship with God, to worship the one who created us, the one who gave us existence that we did not deserve, let alone forgiveness for the mistakes for the rebellion that we have participated in during this existence. We have opportunity to be thankful, to be content, to be okay, even when material circumstances are anything but. So think about that today. Is it you who's shouldering the burdens, or are you giving it up to Christ? Is it you who has to be the hero of the story, or is it Jesus Christ? We can see the world is trying to swap all sorts of names in there. Yours, mine, anybody's. Anybody's name but Christ. Anybody else to be the hero. Any other path. But there is no other path. There is no other way to salvation except through Jesus Christ. Whether we're talking eternally or from the temptations that you face right now, that I face right now. Salvation comes from Christ, and we are saved by him, and we are continually being saved by him, and what he has done for us, and what he is doing for us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Think about that today. Take care. God bless.